and we are back. Because of the banning, here's the deck that I come up with. There's a lot of things that I think is not supposed to be in here. The newest innovation to this deck is that I added three car in the Great Creator because of my sideboard. I, I wanted to get, I don't want Graph Digger's Cage to be in the main board anymore. And having Karn plays really great with other stuff aside from instead of just having Graph Diggers Cage as your main board. Having Karn will allow me to get Graph Diggers, Shadow Spear, just in case I'm running out of life. I can equip that to any of my creatures and I can try and attack. Also, if there is some hexproof permanent that they have creature or enchantment I can um, remove the hexproof ability and indestructible ability and then I can target them so that's an additional extra ability for this card that I really like and that's why I'm, I am including it in my sideboard Sorcerer Spyglass of course because it allows us to control our opponents uh, planeswalkers if they have or if they manage to cast one or if they are planning to cast one. Glass Casket as well. I am only running three Baffling End in this main deck. I have three Sensor as well, not four. And I have included two Birth of Melodies to help us with the aggressive decks because once we cast Birth of Melodies, at least we can delay them for a turn or two from killing us. I also included Behold in Multiverse. I also included one saw it coming and just kept three absorb instead. I still have two Narsets, two Brazen Borrower because there are some permanents that I, once it comes into play and I really don't want it to be in there and I have to find a way to deal with it. I really like it, my chances with Brazen Borrower by bouncing it and then countering it later on instead of really relying too much on cast out and that is why I only have three cast out left also I have two dooms card two wrath of god and one settle the wreckage in my main board so I basically have five mass removals available to me just in case so let's go ahead and do it all right let's go ahead and play Historic. I got no opponent left. <laughs> Alright, that took some time. I could keep it, to be honest. But if I don't get any planes later on, this can become a problem. But I'm gonna go to keep it, sure. Let's keep it. Well, it is going to become a problem because it's an echo deck. I'm gonna get hit by the truck. Two, the other one's wizard, the other one's a fanatic brand. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, at least we found our first white mana source. We only need to find the second one. 
And hopefully we find one very soon. The good news is you can't cast Wizard's Lightning because the like, yeah it doesn't have a creature with that is a wizard. So I'll be taking two damage instead. Yep, I'll be taking two damage. Now, oh, <laughs> he's really pushing it. All right, let's go to counter that. He is really pushing it, and we found our our uh, our second planes. Basically, Fable Passage. It's gonna turn into a planes. So, if our opponent does cast another creature. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, t I'll, I'll take that. I'll let that in because I will be casting Wrath of God anyway on my next turn. Oh, you wanted it to have haste. All right. You wanted it to have haste. So... It's gonna be two two damage. Two Yeah, it's gonna be four damage. Sure. Sure, four damage. Four damage it is. Yep. And I'm gonna be casting Wrath of God right now. I may regret it later, especially if our opponent cast, uh, I don't know, a scary card. That's fine. I can live with that. I was really rushing it. All right. Well, that isn't so bad. All right, I'll take that. Now, I can cycle Shark Typhoon. I'll let that resolve. Cycle Shark Typhoon, create a 2 2 shark, flying shark, block that. And um, he only have one card left, so if it's a removal, then that's fine. It is. All right. Well, that's fine. I'll take one. Now uh, this is definitely the best time for us to cast Teferi because he will most likely ignore Teferi because I am I'm down to. I'm down to 9. So he can ignore Teferi if he wants to. Now should I let that in? No, let's counter it. So he doesn't ignore Teferi. So what's going to happen now is he might consider attacking Teferi. Yeah, there you go. Because of what I did. If I didn't counter that, he may have just go straight to my life because I am basically I will at least in his eyes I'm about to die sure all right so far so good decided to quit which is fine I mean he's he only got one card left in his hand anyway so yeah makes sense all right let's go ahead and continue
Hmm. We go first. We have sensor and we have settle the wreckage. We also have two nice sets. Hmm. Also have shark type. If we get a third land, I think that that can I, we can work that out. So yeah, let's keep it. Let's see what's going to happen. And we go first. Alright. Soul Scar Mage. Alright, alright. So we found our third land. Bowmap. Bowmap Courier. Hmm. All right. Three damage. Hmm. Let's counter that. the battlefield deals to damage target each other player. Huh. Sure. Let's create a 1-1 one -one token to block the bowman. Let's pass the turn because either way, if they cast a couple more creatures with haste or something like sure. So something like that. And if they attack, then we'll be using settle the wreckage instead. And they can find all like three basic lands, yeah, three basic lands. Well, I can't afford to play that on tap, so we're gonna go and play it tap. We still have cast out, so in case our opponent decides to cast, well, not that, but I was thinking this one, sure. So we're down to nine. He will most likely cast Gigantha, unless well, he can Yeah, he can cast it. All right. So he decided to do that. Or it should allow us to cast cast out. And we can play Fable Passage, find this basic land, cast Narset. Hmm. Now what to do? I will probably take 6 damage here. If I'm not careful so I can either you know what I'll uh, take it and I'll just counter the next card there's a chance that the next card could be scary so I'll just I'll play it safe I'll take six damage here yeah I'll uh, counter that Bring 
brings us down to 10 instead. Activate our set. And what can we do here? I can probably take Shark Typhoon or Car in the Great Creator. And then yeah I can take Karn instead all right I'll take Karn I'll cast baffling end and target the uh, Shino pyromancer And yeah, I'll be taking two damage there on the Ramanap Ruins. If he, yeah, he did. All right. So let's bounce that creature. So he decided to sacrifice it. Hmm. Interesting play. Three damage. All right. Be found to failing. We didn't find a good card though. So it's still a 50 50 chance here. There's a chance that he can get a uh, 3 damage spell. Well, that's a good one. Because that's not 3 damage. I can try. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I think I can use Karn and get Glass Casket. Cast Glass Cascade targeting Soul Scar Mage. Now, if our opponent gets any 3 damage spell to our face, we're still dead. So, let's just hope he doesn't. Let's just hope that whatever. That that's a land. Let's hope that's a land. Oh, it's not a land. <laughs> We're down to one. <laughs> Let's draw another card. Let's use Karn. Get Shadow Spear. Cast it. I can foretell. Behold the multiverse. I don't want to overspend here because I'm still saving some. You know what? I still can. Yeah, I still can. Let's cast our set. Which one do I keep? This one. And then let's activate our set here. Birth of Melities is a really good pick here. However, I can't cast it anymore. I have to untap two lands and we have absorb so this next spell we can still take care of it because we have absorb and if our opponent choose not to do anything about it then we're good and they didn't do anything about it all right let's 
Draw another card from Teferi. And we got Teferi. Activate our set. Let's see. Um, I do have Soy coming. And I really like to have a second counter spell. Cast Birth of Melities. Okay, let's plane. Let's turn this into a. Uh, let's turn Glass Casket into a creature. Let's equip. And then let's attack. Haha. <laughs> yep. We're gonna gain three life here. There you go. We tap two lands. We are now down to four. Souls carnage. Should I counter it? Yeah, let's counter it. There you go. All right. Almost. <laughs> Almost die. Almost die. All right, let's play some more. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can keep it. Well, if we don't know, what, we don't know what our opponent is, or who our opponent is anyway. Play Fable Passage, pass the turn. Glacial Fortress. Wow. Could it be a mirror match? It could be. Then that means Settle the Wreckage is useless in this kind of deck. And he decided to end. Wow, he decided to quit. Why? He decided to quit. Amazing. Maybe he doesn't have a land. I don't know. Hmm. We're on the play. We have Sensor, Brazen Borrower, Narset, two of them, and three lands. Basically, we can cast all of them. Let's keep it. Play top. Oh, I guess this is another one of those collected company decks, I think. Oh, this is an elves deck. Can't be countered. Sure. Let's play Temple and then let's start digging for our mass removals here. I could also play Birth of Melities. No, no, no. Let's just wait for another turn because I still have Sensor. They only have like about three, four mana available. They can cast. You can probably cast something there. With that amount of mana, or something like, well, if he decided not to cast 
anything. I'm assuming he does have collected company here. Four mana, open. Four mana, open. That's collect company mana. If you're not gonna cast it, well, he he decided to cast it, and I'm ready for that. What the? Green spells you control cannot be countered. Uh oh. Got a problem. Shepherd. I guess we're about to die. Two, four, six. Ten damage. We'll be down to eight. Down eight. We will be down to eight. Oh wow. You can't counter it. That's amazing. Five damage. Five damage. What to do? All right, let's go ahead and let him attack. Only three. Hmm. Interesting. So that's six, eight damage. Sure, let's take it. Interesting. Eight damage. I'm gonna cycle this one out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Podcast. And in this truck. <laughs> Wow, it was so ready. I didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been uh, beaten by the elves. Amazing. I guess I'm not well prepared against the elves. Well, what do you know? At least, it's not just the goblins that are roaming around the historic format, which we now have elves, and they look legit, like strong legit. So we have three mana available, we have Doomscar, I think that's good enough for us to keep this hand. And we go first, so... If this is another one of those aggro decks, then at least we have an early answer. But it's not. Oh, well, some, I guess it is. So let's foretell that. Pass the turn. Maybe we can prevent a couple of damage. Actually, we can cycle Shark Typhoon and block one of them.
you gain one life. So that was going to be what? So 20. He needs to have like 27 life in order for Speaker of the Heavens to activate. And with that, I'm going to have to resolve all of that and then recycle the shark type thing for one. And then block Speaker of the Heavens. And take two damage. Yeah. Finally found our fourth land here. I'm still not planning on casting Doom's card here because our opponent still has four cards. There's a lot of things that can happen with four cards. So I'm, I'm keeping it. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain five or more life this turn, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. Well, I guess this is where we pull the trigger. I'll be, I'll definitely be um, casting Doomscar next turn. So, let's take all of it. Also, he doesn't have, oh, have, he only has two cards left in his hand, so. Yeah, we can definitely cast Doom's Car and pass the train. We do get another Doom Scar though, so I guess that's fine. Also, we have a couple more cast out, so if he does cast a few more creatures, we can still take care of it. Sure. Well, the only problem is... And you know what? I can foretell Doom's card. And then we can bounce Sarah at Sandman. Yeah, we can bounce uh, Sandman here. We search your library for up to two creature cards with converted mana cost. You know what? I'd rather counter this because if this is a literally two for one card, match with the week if you include Ranger of Eos. Now I can either bounce Sarah Ascendant and then or use cast out. Either way we're fine. Alright, let's pass the turn. Let's see what they're going to do. Let's see. Because if he decides to attack that then I can use cast out and I will take one you can cast another one of your creatures now cast Doomscar. And we still have access to Birth of Melities and Brazen Borrower to bounce it. Depending on what you're going to do. I also have another cast out. So we can still take care of that. At least we're still alive. What is this card? Whenever you gain one life, put a plus one plus one counter on Hallowed Priest. 
Sure. And then let's play a land. Suspend this, or I mean, foretell, behold the multiverse, and then we pass the turn. At this point, if our opponent finally run out of gas, he has a lot of life. Like a lot of life. Let's counter that to make sure that we bounce back. Now we can cast Behold the Multiverse here. It draws two cards. I do like Shark Typhoon here. All right, so let's cast Shark Typhoon and pass the turn. Now we have a way to kill our opponent, and yep, I think they figured that out, or he figured that out. Sad to end the game. All right, that was a nice one. So let's play our last game for today. So what's the last deck going to be? Ask. Huh. Our opponent goes first. He has Lewis of the Dream Den. We do have Baffling End. So I guess let's keep it. Oh, I didn't realize that we have. Glacial Fortress. That is going to be a thought seize. Yep. Saw it coming. Well, with that being said, I'm assuming that this deck is a Croxa deck. Nevertheless, one that utilizes their graveyard and abusing Croxa. Or maybe I should have just supplier stitches. Sure, there's nothing we can do about that. Please don't tell me another thought sees is coming. Village rights. Draw more cards. Oh, well this one's a good one. The only problem I have is all right let's try it that way it was a really lucky mill I mean he milled out his lands he's probably gonna be casting crocs anytime soon there you go crocs baby so what are we going to discuss Birth of Melities, yeah, let's do that. Well, what I can tell you is that he can't touch Sonic like County anymore because it's already suspend mode or foretell mode, so he can't touch it. However, Karn the Great Cave Creator is somewhat in trouble. Oh, all right. Decided not to do anything. Okay. If you wanted to cast Lures of the Dream then, then yeah, sure. Can't do anything about that. But I can counter it actually. So let's counter it. Yeah. Counter Lures of the Dream then. Get out of here. He will pass the turn. And yes, he did. All right. So at least we somewhat survived that part, which will allow us to find Graph Digger's Cage and play it. And now he can cast Croxa from the graveyard. At 
police went out. And he decided to quit. <laughs> oh wow, I love Kind the great creator in this deck. All right. Well, that will be it for now. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. And uh, I'll be seeing you again in the next episode. For now, though, ciao.